If I always travel in my life, it's because my parents always did it. You know that kind of wild road trip with two tents in the back of the car and no idea of where you would end up at the end of the day? Yeah, that's what my parents usually do. And then, after I was born, they keep doing it. But with me, maybe I didn't like it that much at the beginning. At the age of 16, I started to do it by myself. I was lucky enough to go to the States, Thailand, Belgium, Brazil. Yeah, let's talk about this last one. I went there for an internship of two months with Isaac. Isaac is an association which is run by young people with ambitious goals who want to make a positive impact in our world by mobilizing youth towards the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals. Quite complex, right? When I came in the country of the South Asia and Caipirinha, I started to work in an NGO called Montagna de Esperanza as a kind of video maker. I mean, I was trying to. So about the place. It was an academy that offered many different courses attended by kids without parents, kids without a house, kids who were used to living in the streets, kids who need to be helped. There it was the first time that I used my passion as a real work and I found out that I can do more than a super YouTube vlog video. I travel in the weekends and I saw places that I hope I will see again. I improved my English. I met people from all around the world, people who actually have concrete ideas and want to make a change with them. I got robbed once and I almost risked my life just because I didn't want to take a Uber for one night. Yeah, it was my fault. I learned to share with the others, to adapt also when you don't like it and to be grateful of what you're doing because not everyone will have the same opportunity. As I always say, every time you travel, the world will give you something. It doesn't matter what, but all of this thing will make you become who you are now. So when my friends ask me if I had fun in Brazil, if I enjoy Caipirinha and whatever, I say yes, for sure, I did it. But it wasn't just that, and now you know why. So to you who are watching this video, if you would have the same opportunity of mine, get it and see with your eyes how this world really works. Because what you see on the social media or in a piece of paper is not always as authentic as it seems.